Hi, I'm Mark Ryan. In this video, I'll share my review of The Greatest Capitalist Who Ever Lived by Ralph Watson McKelvney and Mark Wartman. This book tells the story of Tom Watson Jr., the CEO of IBM during its emergence as a computer giant in the mid 20th century. So, what's this book about? First, it's a history of IBM, from its origins in the early 20th century to its climb to the top of the computer industry in the 1960s. The book describes how the company developed under its first two chairmen, founder T.J. Watson and his son, the primary subject of this book, Tom Watson Jr. Behind the corporate history is the story of the father, T.J. Watson, the itinerant salesman and showman, who led IBM for its first 40 years, and the story of the two sons, one a prodigal who grew to greatness, and another a dutiful child who worked for his father, then his older brother, before a spectacular downfall at the moment of IBM's greatest triumph. The book describes how the elder Watson's son, Tom Jr., learned discipline and leadership while serving in the U.S. Air Force during World War II. Then, after the war, reluctantly returned to IBM and his father's oppressive gaze, and finally ascended to the top of the company using his natural talents and the lessons the war taught him. The family story sets the background, but the climax of the book is the introduction of IBM's System 360 mainframe computers in 1964. The painful birth of the 360, the commercial triumph and the personal ruin that followed in its wake that's the heart of the book, and that is what makes the book important. But more about that in a minute. In all, while the greatest capitalist who ever lived celebrates the accomplishments of Tom Watson Jr., in particular the launch of System 360, it's primarily a cautionary tale about the impact of groundbreaking technology. Sixty years later, the introduction of System 360 can teach us a lot about who wins and who loses from technical change. So, why read a book about a leader of a has-been company and a product launch from the 1960s? Today, generative AI, ChatGPT, Bard, and other products, is causing huge technical disruption. We're in the middle of it, and we don't know how it's going to unfold. This book describes a massive technical disruption that exploded in 1964, as IBM's line of compatible, scalable mainframe computers put computers in every notable business in North America, Western Europe, and Japan. Understanding where that revolution came from, we can understand how it unfolded, and that understanding can help us anticipate some of the impacts of today's AI revolution. There's lots of media about the launch of the iPhone, the birth of the PC, and the rise of social media. It's such common knowledge that we call the arrival of ChatGPT in November 2022 the iPhone moment for AI. System 360 is different. Its story hasn't been told properly until now. Not only does the birth of System 360 give us analogies we can use to anticipate how AI will impact us, it's a fact of our lives today. Every time you use a banking machine, pay income tax, or make an insurance claim, chances are that the computer that processes those transactions is a direct descendant of System 360. Today, the bedrock of our digital lives, the computation that requires the kind of uptime you only get from multiply redundant hardware and methodically maintained software, runs on IBM Z series which is derived from the same technology that Tom Watson Jr. ushered into the world in 1964. Like B-52s, the System 360 mainframe technology continues to fill a critical role decades after its inception. The brilliance of the greatest capitalist who ever lived is that it tells the story of System 360, this complex, messy, yet vitally important story in detail. You get to see the personalities, the technical challenges, and the high-stake business risks. Finally, 
the System 360 story is given the attention and care it deserves. So, what did I think of this book? I give it full marks for telling the interwoven story of the Watson family and the IBM company, clearly and specifically. The writers are precise and it's obvious that they research the subject carefully. You'll hear none of the breezy generalities that plague lazily written technical histories. No wheeze about something happening decades ago or something being one of the biggest technical challenges of recent memory. Nope. In this book, the dates are specific, the speeds and feeds are spelled out, and the players are quoted. Now, I worked for IBM for 30 years. I learned a lot from my time there, and I'm grateful for the opportunity. But trying to survive in the brutal culture that dominated the company in the 2000s and the 2010s left me scarred and frankly shortened my life. Echoes of the IBM described in this book, including some of the aspects of the executive culture, survived into my time at IBM. This book stirred memories of the life I lived at IBM, some wistful, but many painful. If you worked at IBM, you may find some passages of this book disturbing. As I mentioned before, this book tells the full story of System 360. However, it's a slow burn leading up to that climax. So you need to have some patience with the earlier chapters, particularly if you don't share my interest in World War II history. Like Cade Metz's superb book on the history of AI, Genius Makers, this book is a brilliant work let down by its title. The title is a quote from a Time Magazine article about Tom Watson Jr., but frankly, it's too long, and it doesn't accurately encapsulate Watson's character. After all, he was a progressive Democrat. Overall, I highly recommend this book. It's well-written, well-researched, and it tells a story that we need to be told today. Unreservedly, five stars. And that is my review of The Greatest Capitalist Who Ever Lived, Tom Watson Jr. and the epic story of how IBM created the digital age by Ralph Watson McKelvney and Mark Wartman. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment.